Welcome back to the channel everybody, Brody here again and today we're going to be looking at a mouse pad that is, God, I don't even know the correct word for this, but it's just so dang good. This is the Dash mouse pad by Fnatic. Now, I am sure we all know who Fnatic is from esports and also from their gaming products like headphones, mice, keyboards, etc. Ever since they rebranded their company with their new logo, they finally released a new product and I was super excited about it when I heard they were releasing a new mouse pad. What I have here is the extra large version, which I love because I don't know why I just like bigger mouse pads that take up the majority of my desk. And this one definitely takes up some good space. The extra large comes rolled up in this nice tube and the measurements of the XL is 950 millimeters by 550 millimeters and the thickness is three millimeters. If, and if you do not like extra large mouse pads, Fnatic does have a smaller version, which is their large, and that is 487 millimeters by 372 millimeters and a thickness of three millimeters as well. Also, you know, wanted to know when unrolling the uh, mouse pad, it, there is a slight hump, you know, towards the edges, but that will not affect your gameplay at all. The pricing for this mouse pad is $55, and for the large, it goes for $40, which I think is pretty much in the same ballpark as other top mouse pads out there. What I think stood out the most to me when using this was the quality of the mouse pad. Seriously, I think Fnatic nailed it, you know, for this, you know, mouse pad that they created. I mean, just take a look at the stitching. You don't even realize this is even stitched because it's, you know, so tight and thin. It does not even rub against your, you know, forearm. You don't even notice that it's even stitched at all. The material that they use is top notch in my opinion. The surface, you know, what they are calling it is a hybrid F15 surface, which I have, you know, no idea what the materials that they use. And I asked and they could not tell me that information. But if I had to guess, is there is probably some, you know, cloth mixed in with some polyester maybe. Uh, this is probably going to aim towards gamers that want some control, but speed as well, because to me, I think this is a fast medium pad. So this is right up my alley on the type of mouse pad that I like to use. Also with the surface, they were saying it was like, you know, waterproof, but when I tested this out, it looks like it kind of sinks into it a little bit. So to me, this is not completely water, uh, waterproof because it just, does not just sit on top of the mouse pad and you can just you know easily wipe it away. The rubber base under the uh, mouse pad is good. It does not move at all on my desk, but again, my desk is wood, so there is some texture to my desk, so it will grip a little bit better compared to a desk that might not. So just keep that in mind, but I have not seen anyone complain about this. If you have the dash, let me know what you think about it by commenting down below in the comment section down below. Now to compare this to other mouse pads, I can't really say much because I just don't have a you know closet full of mouse pads, unfortunately, to you know really test it from. But from the ones that I do have, which I have the you know the Gigabyte mouse pad, which is you know more of a harder surface. I, we have uh, my custom Thor mouse pad by X-ray pad, and then the, the Steel Series QCK. This is where I think I would place the Fnatic Dash in the list for speed, in my opinion. So this mouse pad, yeah, it might not be for everyone, but if you're looking for a mouse pad to have some speed, but also be able to control like your tracking and have some stopping power, uh, etc. I think you should definitely take a look at the Fnatic Dash. Again, I don't have a lot of mouse pads to test it, you know, with, but this mouse pad is absolutely amazing in my opinion. The quality of it is seriously spot on and I think Fnatic hit it out of the ballpark with this one. Now, what I think would be dope is if we could add some customization to this mouse pad, maybe like an image on it or change the logo, or if it's like our own, like if it's like Twitch, or maybe change the, you know, the coloring of the stitching. I think that'd be really, you know, just really dope and just add a little bit more pop to our, you know, our battle station or desk or whatever. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Also considering hitting that subscribe button because that'd be, you know, appreciated. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just hit me up in the comment section down below and I'll do my best on getting back to you. Uh, again, my name is Brody and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.